Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing on Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Gradient and Equation of a Straight Line. So we are going to do a little bit introduction on Equation of a Straight Line and the thing that we are going to focus on today is calculation of the gradients and then you get an opportunity to do some practice questions and look at what we will discuss together. So gradient is usually the steepness or slope of an area called, uh, which is usually called the gradient. So when you want to calculate the gradient, we do so by getting the change of y or change of values in the y-axis over the change in the values of x-axis. So it's a change of y over change in x, as you can see from the image. And when we do our calculation, we take the second value of the y-axis minus the first value divided by the second value of x-axis minus the first value of x-axis. So you can see the change in y and change in x. So we need the coordinates of both the x-axis and y-axis of at least two points to have for us to be able to calculate the gradient of a certain line. So, for example, if an increase in the x coordinate causes an increase in the y coordinate, then the gradient the gradient will be positive. And if an increase in the x coordinate causes a decrease in the value of the y coordinate, then we say that the gradient will become negative, as you will notice as we do the calculation later on. And if an increase in the x coordinate and there is no change in the value of the y coordinate, then the gradient is going to be zero. This is because the difference is going to be zero at the end of the day. And then for a vertical line, the gradient is never usually defined because of the lack of the coordinates. So let's look at a few examples. So you can be given a, a line or you are given the uh, points for you to draw a line and get the, the gradient. Either way, you can be able to do so as long as you have two points. So in this question, you have been told to calculate the gradient of line BP. So using point A and B. So our point A is, if you go back here in our point A, we have 0, 3, and then our point B is 2, 9. So our A, our 0, 3, this is going to form our X1, and then this will be our Y1. Remember, a coordinate has values on the X axis and values on the Y axis. Then this uh, coordinate B is going to have X2 and Y2. Make sure you're always identifying those values before you start your calculation. So when we do this, it's going to be y2 minus y1, the change, over x2 minus x1. So this is the same as our y2 is 9 minus the y1 is 3, divide by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 0. So 9 minus 3 gives us 6, and then 2 minus 0 gives us 2. So you don't leave your answer in this way, you make it into its simplest form. You divide by 2, you divide by 2 to get 3. So this is 1, so the gradient is 3. So the next question is find the gradient of the line BP, the same line but now using point P and B. So point P is negative 3, negative 6, and then B is 2, 9. So once more, we identify our x1, um, y1, and x2, y2. So this is going to be our x1, this is y1, x2, y2. So it is changing y, that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this is going to be 9 minus minus 6. Remember, we have a minus divide by x2, which is 2 minus minus, and we have a 3 here. You notice that. So 9 minus minus 6, this is plus, which gives us 15. And then 2 minus minus 3, which gives us 5. 
So if you do the deviation, it's 5, 1, 3. So at the end of the day, we still get the same value as we did before. So you see, if you have an, a line with different points, if you pick only two points on the line, you can get the gradient of that line. So it doesn't matter how many points, which points you pick, as long as there are two points. Let's continue. So you can be asked to find the gradient. So we are going to do this question and then we uh, explore on more. So find the gradient of the line passing through A and B. So our A, this is going to be x1, y1. This is going to be x2, y2. So it is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 6 minus y1, 3. Divide by x2, which is 5, minus x1, which is 2. So 6 minus 3 is 3. 5 minus 2 is 3. So by 3, 1. By 3, 1. So 1. So the gradient is 1. If we look for the gradient of this line as well. So this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So we said it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 1 minus y1, which is 6, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is minus 5. This gives us 1 minus 6 forms minus 5, and then 2 minus minus 5 is, means it's positive. So it is 2 plus 5, which gives us 7. So you note that. So you notice our gradient now, if you make this into a simplest form, you notice it can go further. So we leave our answer as minus 5 over 7. Do not be surprised if you get a fraction and a negative. It's possible for that to happen. Let's do another question. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 3 minus y1 minus 5 over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 2. So 3 minus minus 5 gives us 8 because it becomes 3 plus 5 over 2 minus 2, which becomes 0. So our answer is 8. So let's do a different kind of question where you have not been given the two uh, values or the two points. You have been told in this case to find the gradient of the following lines. Later on, you will see a simpler way of looking for gradients when you're given an equation of a line. But for now, the purpose is to get the two points. The moment we get the two points, we can get the gradient. Later on, we will see how we can get gradient by just looking at the equation. So the first thing we want to get two points, we can use x is equals to zero. So when x is equals to zero, we replace that zero wherever as x is in our equation. So that becomes y is equals to a half into bracket 0 plus 3. This becomes y is equals 3. So our first point is 0, 3. We can pick another point when x, for example, is 2. So when x is 2, y is equals to a half times 2 plus 3. So this and 2 and 2 cancels. So y is equals to 1 plus 3, which gives us 4. So the next point is 2, 4. Remember we said on, this, on the line, it doesn't matter which two points you pick, as long as the, those two points are on that specific line, they are going to give you the same gradient. So we are going to get, this is going to be our x1, y1. This is going to be our x2, y2. So we said it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is 4 minus y1 which is 3 divided by x2 which is 2 minus x1 which is 0. So 4 minus 3 gives us 1, 2 minus 0 gives us 2. So our gradient is a half. So that's how we look for the gradient when you are given an equation of a line. We get the point first of all. So in this example, we have been given the coordinates of one point 
and the gradient of the line. So you're supposed to look for the coordinates of other points. So the question can come also in this sense. So we have one point and the gradient. Remember, this is going to be our x1, y1. This is our gradient. We know the formula of getting the gradient is equals to change in y, that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we already have the gradient, which is 5, is equals to our y1 is 2, but we don't have y. Our y2 is, uh, let's correct that, y2, we don't have minus y1, which is 2, divided by our x2, which we do not have, but we have our x1, which is 1. So that is what we have. So this forms an algebraic question. So it's 5 is equals to y2 minus 2 over x2 minus 1. So we multiply by x2 minus 1, both sides. So this and this cancels. So we have 5 into bracket x2 minus 1 is equals to y2 minus 2. So when we open the bracket, we get 5x2 minus 5 is equals to y minus 2. So we are going to leave it as y and x. So this will give us 5x minus 5 is equals to y minus 2. So we can choose to bring this minus 2. So you are left with y is equals to 5x minus 5 plus 2. So y is equals to 5x minus 5 plus 2 gives us minus 3. So this is the equation of the line. So remember, we already have one point. We have when the value, when the, the x1 is, the x1 is 1 and y1 is 2. So we can be able to get the other value when we have the equation. So any point on the line, for example, we can, since our first x1, we picked as 1, we can pick our x2 to be 2, for example. If we do so, we place 2, uh, two whatever we have an x, so y is equals to 5 into bracket 2 minus 3, which gives us y is equals to 10 minus 3, which gives us 7. So whenever x2 is 2, y is going to be 7, which forms another coordinate. So our coordinate can be 1, 2, and another coordinate can be 2, 7. So you can get as many coordinates as possible on this line. As long as the equation of the line is correct, it's possible for you to get this coordinate. So that's how you are able to utilize the, uh, the knowledge of the gradient to get coordinates as well. So that brings us to the end of the lesson. You can get more revisions on this uh, in the app and also notes so that you can be able to practice further. So see you in the next lesson.